Hey guys, we spoke about the festive season last time, and I still feel like we're celebrating. That's true. Just after Christmas, we celebrated Chinese New Year. And don't forget the Spring Lantern Festival that we celebrated on the 15th day of the Lunar New Year. Did you know that this day is also sometimes called Chinese Valentine's Day? So, is that different from Valentine's Day that falls on the 14th of February each year? And what about the other Chinese Valentine's Day called the Double Seventh Festival? This is so confusing! In ancient China, women weren't usually allowed out of the house at night because of safety concerns. But on the night of the Lantern Festival, everyone could walk around freely and meet suitors. This is why many people believe that the Lantern Festival is also the true Chinese Valentine's Day. Oh wow! I didn't know that! I have another fun fact about spring festivals. Do you know anything about the Japanese spring festival called Setsubun? I think I've heard of it. They do some pretty strange things to ward off evil spirits and welcome good fortune, right? This sounds interesting! Tell us more! Setsubun is held the night before the beginning of spring according to the Japanese lunar calendar. People perform different rituals. One of the most well-known rituals is mamen maki, or bean throwing. People throw roasted soybeans out of their front doors while shouting, Devils out! Fortune in! Oh yes, I've heard of this. Doesn't one family member wear a mask that looks like a demon or oak? Ogre while the other people throw beans. That's right. It's a very interesting festival. Wow, we learned quite a few fun facts about spring festivals around the world today. How interesting. Thank you guys. No, no problem. problem. Spring Lantern Festival. Chinese New Year. Valentine's Day. Setsuban.